Liv here. I am back with a new video and today we are going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, it was a no-brainer to buy one. Just look at the colorway. It's like the most like diverse palette I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Um, and yeah, it's just brilliant. A lot of people have said it's a really great palette for traveling because you've got your everyday bronzy brownie shades and you have a black shade in there and you also have the really darker shades in there. Now I feel like it's no surprise that I've gone with the smoky eye with some form of blue in it but you know what I like it so mm. anyway this palette I have to say like like I said before with Urban Decay I don't really think about buying their palettes just because I already have I've got all of the naked palettes and they their like shades have never let me down. However, it is the first palette that has 23 shades. Wait, 26, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 21 shades. And the first palette that has come without a brush. Now, I don't mind that. Like, I actually really like the Urban Decay brushes, the brushes that they sell individually and the brushes that come in the Naked palettes, but this one didn't come with it. I'm not too bothered because it came with this huge mirror that I personally will use a lot. I always use palette mirrors and I... I love it. I hate it when a palette comes without a mirror. I know that is very like some people you either love it or you hate it. Um, but yeah, this palette, it feels sturdy. It's good. It's like plasticky. Um, the packaging is like a collage, I guess, um, with different places around the world, which is pretty cool. So there's like Vegas, that looks like Italy, Greece, showing my geography skills here, London. A place with snow anyway um so i have created this look for you guys today i hope you enjoy it if you do and you have any feedback please leave it uh, please leave it in the comments below and i'll get on with this video okay guys so as always i have one eye done and my brows for my brows today i use the pro longwear fluid line in dip down and they are pretty freaking bold if i do say so myself and this eye look looks so weird with one eye done. So let's do the other eye. All right, so just to prep my base, I'm going in with the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Paintly, just all over my lid. Okay, so as you can probably tell by the title, we are using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And to go in, first off, we are going in with Badger, which is this really nice orangey color here. And I'm just taking my MAC 240 and just blending it all throughout the crease. Okay, so the next step we are going to be doing is going in just right in the crease area with the color Punk and then blending it out with, I gotta stop looking down when I'm talking, but I need to find my stuff. Uh, going in with the 224 blending brush. Okay, so the next step is we are going in with the color Wonderlust. This is a really beautiful, like, greeny and really sparkly shade. Um, and we're just going to take that on our ring fingers and pat it onto the lid. the same 
same brownie shade, Punk, and we're just gonna line our waterline with that with this little liner brush. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. The next step, we are going to take just a flat definer brush and the color Jet, which is a black, jet black, and we're just gonna take it right down the um, lower lash line, as you can see here. Okay, and next we're going to take our MAC 224 and we're going to take the color Badger again, and we're just gonna smoke out the black on the lower lash line and take it all up through the crease again. in the shade M19 Cool and my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Bamboo just through my face.
highlighter and I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Hustler Base. I'm going to take the Smashbox Famous um, Lipstick and then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Bomb. Okay, so the next step is going to be like setting my face and you guys know that I love my MAC Fix Plus. I can't do my makeup without it. But recently I have um, come across this new spray and it is thanks to Jamie Genevieve, the queen of YouTube. Um, and she has spoken about the Omarovitsa Queen of Hungry Mist. Now, this is a smaller version that I got. Um, it is 30 milliliters. And if you live in Australia, you can get this from Mecca. And I believe the size of bottle is $29. So like, it's like a, it's like a good good quality thing. So it's like a glass bottle. I've used it once, um, like straight after I bought it, because I wanted to like know what the gist was. Um, and basically, it's just um, a hydrating mist. And um, if you haven't heard of Omarovitsa, they are a Hungarian brand, um, and they just use really pure natural ingredients and in all their things. They're really famous for their mud masks, which which they use Hungarian thermal mud in them, which is insane. So yeah, if you haven't heard of them, check them out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try out their hydrating mist and I'll show you what the spritzer does, how it works. It's like the bougiest spritz I've ever spritzed. Now, what I will say is it smells really nice, um, but I personally like a spritzer <laughs> that is quite um, chunky or thick, I guess. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been watching Shane Dawson conspiracy theory videos <laughs> and there's no one home right now and I keep looking, my doors open so I keep looking thinking there's gonna be someone behind me. Anyway, um, I quite like chunky spritzes. So like the Mario Badescu is like super chunky. Like a lot of products come out, comes out once. So I really like that. I feel like I just get my whole face wet the whole time. But I'm gonna give this one a go and I'll let you know. Normally when I do Mario or Fix Plus, I need to like pounce it into my skin because there's like literal water droplets on my face. Um, but I like it. I really like it. I'm gonna keep using it, um, like just in my everyday routine. So it's called the Queen of Hungry Mist, I think I said that. But I'm gonna keep using it and tell you guys if I can notice like an actual skincare difference. But yeah, we've done that. So next we're gonna go into the setting spray and I'm gonna use my favorite NYX Dewy Setting Mist. And last but not least, I'm going in with my mascaras. That will be my MAC Extended Play for my lower lashes and my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes for my top lashes. Okay guys, that is the finished look today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will come and do a close up as always. Um, if there is anything you would like to see from me, please leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a, uh, a, th a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I will see you in another video. Mwah.